Hey, welcome to this Windows channel and today we're going to talk about some of the stuff that you should or should not do on the internet if you want to keep your computer safe and uh, this is part of a series of videos I'll do this week talking about the different stuff that's dangerous on the web how to try to keep your computer safe so in no particular order here are some of the stuff to avoid or, you know, be careful with. Uh, item number one, free Wi-Fi. When you get to, you know, a coffee shop, hotel, any spot that you get free Wi-Fi, you always have to be careful. Free Wi-Fi means a lot of people are using the same connection. Your computer isn't invisible on these networks computer is part of a major network lots of people using these uh, free Wi-Fi spots to try and hack into other people's computers and you know what try to resist if you're going somewhere you need internet connection you suddenly find an open Wi-Fi somewhere on some street in front of a, a house you're like oh these people have not secured their Wi-Fi connection well you know what? Not only is it illegal, because in Canada and US it is illegal to connect to the Wi Fi of someone without consent, it is also dangerous because a lot of hackers out there leave intentionally open connections just to try to hack into your computer. So, you know what? Be careful when you use these spots. Don't do anything wrong. And remember in Windows, when you're on a free Wi-Fi connection. Always answer correctly that you're on a public Wi-Fi to make sure that the Windows machine logs down as much as possible so that you don't get anything stolen or you know having some kind of hack on your computer. So that's one of the things you gotta be careful with. Number two, adult websites. Adult websites are some of the worst websites you can go to, um, especially the free adult content websites. Um, I would say as a tech guy, this is one of the most popular ways of getting infected because I have fixed and cleaned so many computers from clients that just went to porn sites and wanted to see, you know, naked chicks, and naked guys it is some of the dangerous things to do on the internet you know there are legitimate legitimate websites that charge but at least are okay um, free stuff is always dangerous because of the nature of the free stuff and you know people are pe people are cheap basically <laughs> and don't want to pay for content and uh, what happens is a lot of the websites out there are just friends. They try to lure you into getting into that, um, you know, website to see the naked chicks. But basically, there's no naked chicks. It's just a site that's there to inject uh, malware, viruses, and all sorts of bad stuff into your computer. Um, you know, when they ask you, oh, yeah, you, you can see that uh, naked movie of this or that but you need to install a special video player. Yeah, that's the best way you, you're going to get caught immediately with that type of, uh, you know, doing things like that on the internet. It's, um, really, really, you know, some of the bad stuff you can do to infect and get viruses on your computer. So be careful. It's very, very important to be careful about that. Torrents. Torrents. Another of those really dangerous things to do on the internet. Torrents are, you know, places where people want to go get their favorite TV shows, movies, music, um, programs. So why not, you know, oh, why pay a thousand dollars for Photoshop when I got it here with a key for zero at BitTorrent uh, in a torrent download? Yeah, with lots of viruses and acts and all sorts of things inside it that are dangerous. This is to be avoided. I, as a tech guy, have cleaned so many computers with people that were infected because they wanted to download illegal stuff. 
And remember, it's illegal. You are stealing content. So, um, you know, not only are you not going to necessarily have what you want, but you might have to pay the tech guy. And you know what? If you had to pay 100 bucks for your tech guy, well, for 100 bucks, you probably had, uh, you know, DVDs with those series. And um, maybe you've even, you know, bought a copy of that software you wanted to download for free. Um, you you got to be careful. Torrents are bad. Email. Some of the bad things that happen on email. Um, attachment, file attachments. Although today is not as much of a problem as it used to in, you know, 10 or the last 10 or 15 years ago. That was more a problem. But today email tend to often check for viruses in the content so people are not necessarily hacked uh, but one of the popular ways is you know links having fake bank websites by email saying hey you have a problem with your connection click here having people that you know and you know that's the scary thing because one of the rules that I always say to my clients is that your best friend and your family is your worst enemy in computer security why because, oh, that's from my brother. It must be safe. My brother knows his way around computers. Chances are he doesn't know his way around computers more than you do. Um, and you know what? Then you get that email with a little link in it. It's like, oh, my brother sent me an email. has a link. Let's click. Well, that's all the things that you should not do. Never click a link unless he tells you or she tells you specifically, oh, here's a link to that video that I found so funny. Um, and even there, you know what? I would ban links in all emails. Um, there are, you know, other ways of telling people to go to this or this website. And so be very, very careful. Um, email is dangerous by nature if uh, you share, you know, links and documents and stuff like that. Be careful about that you've all seen probably at one point this something like this hey you're gonna win a free iPad click here you're gonna win a free iPhone click here here's a new you're gonna get a new tablet click here hey why not enter a survey and click here and you'll win a PC these are all scams all of these are scams I've seen this a lot on Facebook I've seen this in emails. I've seen this on some websites. Uh, you know what? Never click. Don't click anything that looks like a contest on the internet. Never, never, never. These are scams. They want to try and steal something from you. They might want you to install something. They might steal personal data from you. Don't do it. Never do it. Never believe these things on the internet online games you know what in a recent statistic on the internet online games are now the number one problem for malware and viruses it used to be porn sites adult sites used to be you know the major issuers of bad stuff on your computer but now you know what a lot of people like games, a lot of people want to play games, a lot of people want to play free games, and that's where is a problem. A lot of free game websites actually have you install malware, a lot of websites will want you to install a game. Um, a great little story I have about that, a client I went to a few weeks ago wanted to install a Nintendo game, um, which was Super Mario, and he found it on a website and it's true it does work but you know what when he installed it it installed six different malware software it's changed its uh, it, it changes um, start page on the browser it modified tons of stuff in the computer computer was not going as well uh, pop-ups were showing up everywhere oh you got a game you got a lot more than you wanted also. So online games are really the number one problem right now 
uh, apparently. So be careful. Always go to you know really well-known sites where you know that things are safe. Don't go anywhere and just search on Google for that. Uh, that's a problem. It could be a big problem. So be careful. Online games are big problems. Gossip websites are also part of a lot of the websites. You know, oh yeah, wow, okay. Uh, apparently, they've released some naked photos of this or this, you know, athlete or actor or singer or whatever. Well, you know what? Be careful. A lot of gossip websites want to lure you into installing something, clicking something. You can get some bad stuff on your computer. Got to be careful about it. Make sure that you go to the, you know, reliable sources, not just, you know, gossip sites that you try to find on the web. Uh, there's a lot of people that search for, you know, junk on uh, all of these, you know, actors and, you know, artists. And, well, you search for junk for them, you might have junk on your computer back. Be careful. And uh, last but not least, the most important thing, keep your PC updated. You know what? I got someone on the channel told me that, um, was making fun of me because he's saying, oh, yeah, this guy knows what he's talking about, saying that he doesn't, you know, install a, uh, an antivirus and you actually don't need antivirus. You know, I do believe we don't need antivirus. I sure don't have. I have the basic protection here, but if I would have basic protection, I'd have nothing probably. You know why? Because I've explained it. The user is the problem, but you know what? Installing updates is a must do um, in a, a questionnaire that was sent to tech guys they were asking what's you know top security stuff that you could do to keep safe you know what in the top five installing an antivirus was not in the list but the number one spot for tech guys was make sure all your software is up to date Make sure your Windows is up to date. Make sure that all the software that needs updating is up to date. It's very important. That is probably the number one way that somebody can uh, infect or hack into your computer by using a flaw in your software. I'm still amazed at the number of people that actually say, Oh, um, I don't install updates because my brother, my friend, or you know, a co-worker told me that uh, Microsoft installs, you know, malware and viruses through this. C come on, people, wisen up. Updates are the number one thing you need to do to keep your computer safe. I don't know how many times I'll have to say it, and I don't know how many times I've seen computers where people intentionally stopped updates. Uh, look, come on, you have to install your updates. It's very important. So these are some of the top things you can do to be or not to be safe. I'll have more videos this week of different things, even showing some uh, scams online, what they look like, and how that you know maybe is going to help you visually recognize one of these scams and say, oh wow, thanks to this guy's video channel, I've learned that that's n a fake, that's not true. If you enjoy my videos, when I subscribe to my channel, you'll be informed when new videos are online. Give us thumbs up if you like the videos. Helps us on the ratings on YouTube. Um, any problems, any questions, any suggestions, please ask. It's always fun to have your feedback. And uh, hopefully you enjoy our videos. And we'll come back regularly to watch our videos. Thank you.